Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mouse Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Christmas 2021 event that has been running for the past couple of weeks here in The Hunter Classic. And as you can see here on Hemeldoll, things are pretty Christmassy, and it's not just with the theme outside the lodges here, but there is actually some Rudolph red-nosed reindeer running around on Hemeldoll itself. And this is the main rifle we're going to be using in this video, which is the Candy Cane 8x57, which obviously is just a perfect fit for this event. And as you can see, we are actually wearing a Christmas jumper and some Christmas mittens as well, all nice and Christmas themed. And yeah, this event has been really, really fun. And what we're going to do in this video is actually complete all the objectives for the holiday mission and get all of those done and try and get a decent sized Rudolph for the Trophy Lodge. Now, as you can see, we did just see a reindeer moving around on screen there, and this was actually the first reindeer I called in in this event, and it just so happened to be a Rudolph. Not every reindeer in this event is a Rudolph, but for my first one to come in and actually be a Rudolph was pretty cool. And that is actually my first ever time shooting a Rudolph reindeer, as this is the first year I have taken part in this event. So that was really cool to actually see one finally in the flesh. I think they look really brilliant. It's just a nice bit of fun in the lead up to Christmas. And this event did actually finish yesterday, so it's a bit of a shame it didn't run over the Christmas Christmas period, like over Christmas itself. But in the lead up to Christmas, it's been a good bit of fun. So you can see Rarity Mythical and we are looking at a 370.5197 bull, which isn't massive, but we are definitely going to take a trophy shot, seeing as he is my first ever Rudolph Reindeer and my first harvest ever with that rifle. And as you can see, Mission Holidays 2021 slaying all the way, Objective Harvest a Rudolph Reindeer, you know you want to, is complete. And just a quick little trophy shot of this guy, just for the memories. Now, moving on to another objective from the Christmas 2021 mission. And I had to shoot a normal reindeer at over 40 metres. Well, the 8x57 there, again performing really well and dropping this normal reindeer ball in his tracks. And as we pick him up, you can see the distance there is well over 40 metres. So that is exactly what I needed to actually complete that objective. And as I said, not every reindeer in this event is a Rudolph reindeer. I actually hunted for a long time during this event and only found a few of them. So that got that mission objective completed, slaying all the way, harvest a reindeer from more than 40 metres completed. Moving on to another objective from the mission now, and we had to harvest a brown bear scoring at least 23. Well, I actually ended up spooking this bear, and as I spotted him, he had an estimate of 22 to 28. So a pretty good chance at actually scoring over that 23 minimum requirement for the mission objective. So whilst he stood nervously up in these trees, I'm just going to try and slot a shot into his lungs there with the 8x57. And I could see there from the bullet wound that I was pretty happy with that shot placement. Bears have a bit of a weird hitbox thing in Classic where their organs are a little bit smushed up together. So I was making sure to keep that shot pretty forward so that it would actually get through to a lung. Now, as I was running over to claim this bear, I got the beeping on my hunter mate that told me I'd just run over a collectible. And it was actually one of the presents from the mission. You had to collect one of each of the different coloured presents. And that was one that I actually still needed. And yeah, the presents are a pretty cool little collectible for the Christmas event. I actually think that they're really awesome to find. And picking up this bear, he is a 25.1780, so more than enough over that 23 minimum requirement to complete the mission, and that gets that one done pretty easily and out of the way. And we also got to do another mission objective, as I said, by picking up that present, so we got two done in one there, which was really nice. Moving on to the next mission objective, and we had to harvest a moose with a slug. I ended up getting a call from this guy and ended up calling him in, and I'm just going to take him there as he comes pretty close with the 12 gauge slugs. Now, I only got a single lung hit there just before he went behind those trees. I didn't want him to go behind those trees and then end up spooking. But he runs around a little bit and then actually goes down. And as you can see, he's not the biggest or most impressive moose by far in the Hunter Classic. But 
all we needed was a moose to shoot with a slug. So he com he completes that objective nicely. And as I said, hit the shoulder blade through to the right lung. A 119.2048 scoring ball moose that completes that Holidays 2021 slaying all the way objective. Now to complete one of the other mission objectives, which was to harvest a unspooked lynx. Now I ended up getting a call from this female lynx, so I put down the e-caller and some scent spray and just waited for her to come in. Going to use the 17 HMR with the HV rounds to take her down, just because I really do enjoy using the 17 HMR. And I'm just waiting for her here to turn her head so that I have a nice clear shot at her vitals. It's a shame that it was a female and not a male, but it didn't specify in the mission that it had to be either, it was just an unspooked lynx. So all I had to do basically was just shoot her there and that should complete that mission objective. Of course, not being big at all because she is a female, she is only a 6.0200 scoring, but that completes the slaying all the way harvest and unspooked lynx objective. Now, taking a little break from completing mission objectives was something that I found whilst I was running around. That right there is a piebald cow moose. And I was actually sat here in my tree stand on Hemeldal just by my bear barrel, just because I thought maybe I could call in some roe deer or some reindeer as reindeer quite often pass through this area when I spotted her. Now, a bull moose had come in maybe a minute before from behind the stand and actually had spooked. And I think that he had spooked her because, as you can see, she is running around nervous. And sadly, that meant she wouldn't come into the call. So I decided that basically I would just try and get a shot into her before she went out of sight. Just so that I had, you know, some kind of hit on her and hopefully it would bring her down. I didn't think that I made a good shot there, so I just marked where I had actually shot her. And going over there, it was just a body hit. Now, after not very long of a track, I found her. And as you can see, she is wounded. And with her head down like this, I thought that I'd be able to make a brain shot. Apparently, I can't hit the brain on a moose when it is looking straight at me and not very far away. So feel free to laugh at me on that shot because it was just an awful, awful shot. Again, not very long after that, I tracked her down and she was led here actually going to expire after those two body hits. Now, animals in classic have a great way of making you feel guilty when you mess up your shots when they lie there like that. So I did, did just put a third shot in her there into the vitals just to make her go down a little bit quicker. And as you guys will have seen, it did actually insta-kill her, which was a better result than her just laying there. I don't like leaving wounded animals on classic. But, as you can see, very much a beautiful piebald moose. Shame it's only a cow, but again, finding any rares in Classic is always cool. And you can see the couple of bullet wounds in her from the couple of messed up shots. And we'll pick her up and take a look at what those shots say. So, the first one was just body, the second one was body and skull, and then the third one was double lung. Of course, she is no score, no CSS, as she is a female, no antlers but rarity is piebald. And I ended up doing something a little bit different with the trophy shot of her here, where I actually used the trophy poses and then the rock to my advantage and came out with this, which I think looked pretty nice considering it was just a quick trophy shot of a female. Moving on to the next mission objective I'm going to complete now, and there was actually a mission objective to harvest a willow ptarmigan scoring at least 620. And I actually managed to drop a couple of them here, which I was pretty happy with considering I am normally absolutely terrible at hitting flying birds in the Hunter Classic. I just can never seem to get it right. I'm really, really poor at actually doing that. But I did manage to drop a couple of them there, so I was hopeful that at least one of them hopefully would complete that objective. And this one here actually ended up being more than big enough at 639.5132. And as you can see, that completes the Mission Holidays 2021 slaying all the way. Objective Harvest a Willow Ptarmigan scoring at least 620. Moving on to the next objective in the list that I'm going to complete now. And there was an objective to harvest a Red Fox scoring at least 24. Now, I ended up calling in a couple of female foxes, and then I actually had a pretty decent sized male come in, but unfortunately he did end up spooking. 
However, after tracking him down for a little bit, he did end up going calm again and came back into a call. And as you can see, he's actually a cross fox, which is just really cool. I love seeing all the different variations for the foxes in the Hunter Classic. And I really hope that one day we see variations like this coming into Call of the Wild, because it just makes it extra cool to hunt the foxes. And as you can see, this guy scores 26.5833, so he is more than big enough to actually complete that mission objective, which was pretty lucky that this was only like the third fox I shot, as I know that this mission objective for quite a lot of people was a real pain. And you can see that this guy actually went very close to the edge of the reserve before I actually managed to bag him. But that completes yet another mission objective. And last but not least, there was one final mission objective on that list, and that was to harvest a roe deer weighing at least 30 kgs. Now, this one was also a little bit tricky. Getting a roe deer over 30 kgs can be a little bit of a pain, and I ended up shooting quite a few 25 to 35 kg estimate roebucks before I ended up finding this guy. And as you will have seen, he also was a 25 to 35 kg weight estimate buck. Not the biggest in terms of his antler size, but I was just hoping that he would weigh enough to complete that mission and he did at 31.1 kgs only a 160s buck but that completes the holiday mission and as you'll see it says happy holidays hunter thank you and we will see you next year and that is the holiday 2021 missions completed really happy to have gotten those done so that I could get the trophy and the rewards and we're going straight back into hunting Rudolphs. And this guy was a pretty small Rudolph, but these guys were pretty good to take down no matter what their size, as they gave you 50 present points towards the overall event. And there's different tiers of rewards for that event, and I basically just wanted to get at least to the bottom tier so that I would get the trophy and the 200 EMs. The, the scores for the other tiers were just so high, there was no way I was going to get up to some of the, those other scores. But I ended up managing to harvest enough Rudolphs and other animals that I did manage to get that bottom tier trophy, which is still really cool. Now, moving on from hunting Rudolphs to the, something a little bit bigger... This guy ended up coming in whilst I was calling in some reindeer and I'd actually just dropped a pretty small bull and then this huge bull moose comes down the side of the hill from behind me and I was pretty impressed by the size of him and I was hoping that he would be over 200 and with a score estimate like that I was pretty hopeful that he should be somewhere over that 200 mark. So just going to take him here with the bow, with actually with the winter snake bite, which is the bow I've used throughout the entire event just as a silent weapon. And just look at the size of this moose. The classic really big moose just look so awesome. I will never ever ever get tired of seeing these huge palmates. Absolutely incredible looking. And he is over 200, 214.0392. So not a PB or anything like that, but just a pretty big moose. And I actually liked how he landed, so I just moved him around a little bit and got a pretty nice trophy shot of him. And moving back from bull moose to bull reindeer and we are looking at a, another red nose Rudolph here. They just look so cool. And this guy was actually the biggest one I'd seen so far. I was pretty unlucky with finding a lot of small Rudolphs. And this guy definitely had potential to be the biggest one I'd found. I was really trying to get a 500 plus Rudolph for the trophy lodge. Normally with reindeer you're looking for 600 plus, but I seem to be really, like I said, really unlucky with getting anything decent sized for these guys. So I just wanted something over the 500 mark that would look good in the lodge until next year. And this guy was actually my biggest one yet, but he's so weird looking as he's broken off all four of his brow palms or brow shovels and most of his tops as well so he's really weird looking and unfortunately at this point this was the biggest one i'd seen so i ended up taxing him but as you guys will see a little bit later we ended up finding some better rudolphs including this guy who looked just so much nicer than every other rudolph i had seen at this point and I was very, very excited to actually lay eyes on one that looks half decent. He wasn't going to be massive, I could tell that from the score estimate, but I was hoping that he would break that 500 mark that I was talking about. 
And as you can see, the 8x57 again there doing some work and that reindeer does not go very far before he actually topples over. Now this guy actually has some brow palms which is really nice and a few tops on his antlers. They're not the best looking but they're definitely not the worst looking. And he is actually 512.3543. So definitely over that mark that I was talking about. And at this point, I was ha just happy to see one that had a decent rack on him. Like, that just looks a lot better than the previous one. And unfortunately, he died in a little bit of a weird place to try and get a trophy shot. So this was about the best I could do. But I just love this. It's so fun having the 8x57 candy cane, being all dressed up in Christmas clothing and hunting Rudolph. There's just something so cool about that. And that's something I absolutely love about the Hunter Classic. Now, I was given a tip to leave a map open for a little while and then check the lake directly above the North Lodge as normally a herd or two of reindeer will get congregated up in this area. And I did this and I shot a couple of smaller bulls and then I spotted this guy, which was by far the best looking Rudolph I had seen in this entire event. He looked really, really good. His antlers aren't perhaps as tall as they could be and I didn't expect him to score anywhere over 600 or 730, nowhere up to that 730 mark that his estimate goes up to. But I was hopeful that he could be my personal best. And I ended up having to drop this female here just so that she didn't spook every other reindeer that was around this lake. And you can actually see that she is a mythical. So some of the females in this event are actually mythicals, which they don't look really to me any different than the normal females. But I had to take a trophy shot of the first couple that I came across just because it was something a little bit different. And I then moved around the lake to try and get closer to where that really good looking bull was. And there was just so many females running around from the other couple of groups. And as you can see, the winter snake bite here, again doing some work and managing to drop these couple of cows so that they wouldn't spook and then spook the bull in turn that I was trying to call in. And he is just up ahead, up on that hill. And after about a minute of calling, I could see him working his way down towards me. And I was really excited to see one that looked this good. By far the best looking Rudolph I'd seen the entire event. He is a beauty. Now, I wanted to wait until I had a really good shot on this guy. But I could hear the hooves of a female moving around behind me. I knew that there was more females from the other groups. And I did not want this guy to end up getting spooked by this female that I could hear moving around behind me. So I ended up taking a shot there that was a really weird angle. I hoped that it might get through to a lung, but it didn't. It just got body. But thankfully, after two minutes or so, he actually went down. And just by far the best looking Rudolph I'd seen. Just look at this guy. What an absolute beauty. And you can see there, the wound minute is just over two minutes. And this guy's a 547. What an absolute beauty. Actually has some barrel palms and actually has some tines there on the tops of his antlers. Just a really good looking bull. Like I said, in classic, the mark that you're really looking for for a big reindeer is anything over 600. <laughs> But I was just wanting something over 500 so that I at least had a decent looking one in the trophy lodge. And then maybe next year if they run this event, I can look to improve that. And not long after I ended up shooting that Rudolph, I found this guy. And he also looked pretty good despite the fact that he wasn't a Rudolph. And seeing reindeer balls like this has just basically made me want to come back to classic and really put in some work looking for a 600 plus reindeer ball because they do look incredible. And this guy actually ended up scoring a little bit higher than I thought he would at 577. So he is a little bit bigger than the Rudolph we just shot, which I didn't expect, but I think it was just the extra length on his antlers that gave him a little bit of a higher score than I expected. And talking of big antlers, look at this little cracker. That is a really big Roebuck, up to 265 on his estimate. And when we pick him up, he is actually a 233.8615 scoring Roebuck. Now in the Hunter Classic, anything over 200 is really good. So this guy is a cracker. Now he's not a new PB or anything like that, 
but considering I called this guy in whilst waiting for some reindeer to end up on the map and just leaving the map open for a little bit as I was told to, that's just an incredible bonus. And not long after, I had this guy, which is a pretty solid looking Roebuck, up to 235 on his estimate. So I quickly dropped him with the bow, but another buck had just called and I waited and this came in. Another 165 to 265 estimate Roebuck. And again, these guys just look fantastic in the Hunter Classic. I actually had to reload my rifle here as I, this was a new session at this point. But just what a stunning buck. I love the roe deer so much in this game. They just are so cool to me and I think it's because of how lifelike they are with the fact that they will run off barking and everything like just like they do in real life. And I wasn't sure if this guy was going to break that 200 mark. I knew this one would just based off of looking at him I was confident but I wasn't sure about this guy. So I ended up claiming him first just in case he would break that mark because otherwise that could be a potential super rare. But he is only a 175 scoring buck. So no super rare, but this guy was definitely a lot bigger than the other one. And again, I was hoping he'd break that 200 mark. And he is a 216.8065 scoring buck. So within not very long, I ended up with two 200 plus bucks, which you don't see a lot of 200 plus roe deer in classic. And it was just really cool to get a couple of really nice bonus bucks whilst waiting for reindeer. And finally, to finish this video off with the last of the highlight clips, I ended up picking up a max weight estimate reindeer bull track and I was following this group for a while trying to get them to come into the call and I could just see them up ahead and they didn't want to come into the call and I could never get eyes on the bull when finally I could see the cows turn and start coming towards me so I knew the bull had started to come in and this was actually on the path leading up to the north lodge here on Hemeldal and as you can see I'm rattling here with the caller trying to get the bull to come in and you can see in there coming up on the left a really really good sized bull Unfortunately, when I finally get the scope on him, you can see that he's only got two of the four brow paddles and I knew that that was sadly going to kill his score. But managed to drop him there again with the 8x57 and I was pretty confident this guy was the best ball I'd shot the entire event. Which is a shame that he wasn't a Rudolph and he was just a normal reindeer, but it's still nice to drop a really nice ball like this. I'm picking him up, he is a 581.4566 scoring ball, so a nice way to finish off the event. As you can see, I got my spotting and tracking levels up for reindeer to pretty decent levels considering they were very low when the event started. I also managed to get the campaign uh, trophy and the mission trophy there for my trophy gallery on the Hunter Classic, which is really cool. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate your support. Merry Christmas to all of you that celebrate it. And happy holidays to everyone in general. I hope you have a lovely time. Thank you so much for watching.